How's it going, everyone? Hammer Time Adventures here, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the five maps that I, I actually have, and I'm gonna show them from worst to best. So number five is actually five, not to be convenient or anything, but I just have a big grudge on this map because it's just so horrible. First of all, it takes a long ass time to get to the power because you have to open so many doors and once you turn it on, you don't have any money left. So you can't buy any guns and stuff. And the guns aren't even that good anyways, so why even bother? And then once you turn the power on, there's only one good spot to train. And do you know what their wonder weapon is? Winter's Howl. Oh my god, I'm so done with the Winter's Howl. I mean, for crying out loud, it doesn't even kill the zombies. It just turns them into an ice cube. And that's only for, like, a fucking full magazine. So, yeah, there's five for you. Piece of shit. My Xbox thinks so, too. So, uh, yeah. Comes in at number five. Now coming in at number two is transit, and the thing about transit, it, it's just horrible. Honestly, I don't think it's as bad as five, but I still think it's pretty, pretty bad. Like for instance, there's fire everywhere, and at the start you have to build something in order to get through a door without having to pay any money. Like seriously, there is legitimately a door at the start. That costs money, when you could just buy, just, just build a turbine, and then you can open the door with that. So, why, why even bother with that? And there's nothing else at the start but your starting weapons and quick revive. So, you're gonna be leaving there. And then next you have the bus. Now, the bus is where you're gonna be traveling to other parts of the map. This bus is gonna be your salvation, but guess what? There are openings everywhere for the zombies to get in. On the sides, on the front, even, I don't even know if they can get in on the back, but there's actually a weapon on here, but it's not good. It's the fucking B-23R. You know that gun I hate? Yeah, everyone hates it. Ugh. Bus is just disgusting. But the bus isn't even the worst part. See, coming up next, it's the... I don't even know what it is. It's the box place. Whatever it is. But you open the door, and there's the box. But you just, you're probably not going to have enough money, so you're going to have to make some money. And when you do have enough money, you're probably only going to have one hit at the box. And you know what it's going to be? Some garbage. That's what. So the box isn't even that good in this. But why would you even make the bus leave after one hit at the box? Just why, Treyarch? Why would you do this? Uh. If I want my video to be sure, I don't even want to list all the problems with transit. But there's one major issue that I want to explain. It's it's the goddamn pack-a-punch. Here's what you gotta do. At the power station, there's this green door with an electric bolt. Place your turbine there. Then you go to the pack-a-punch room and build the goddamn thing. Fuck! <sighs> but anyways, uh... Number three is town. Now, you know how transit's full of fire? Well, town is a mini-map in it. And, well, it has the most fire in the whole goddamn game. <laughs> so, why do they even put stamina up in town? Both in the full map of transit and the mini-map. Well, why even bother? See, in the town, you're, you're just gonna be stopping. Because when you hit fire, you stop running. Why even put stamina up? It's trolling you, man. Stamina up increases how you run. 
But you can't run in this. You can only jump. What? Does stamina up increase your jump? If it does, then maybe. Maybe it's good in this. Honestly, I don't even bother with stamina up in this map. I just go for quick revive, juggernaut, double tap, and then speed cola. And that's it. I'll hit the box a couple times, but then I pack a bunch, but never do I get stamina up in this. So that town comes in at number three. Coming in at number two is the map of farm, which is another mini-map in transit. But honestly, I think farm for a map is underrated. Now, I know it's boring. All you do is hit the box, get your ray gun, light machine gun, you get your perks, and then you're done. Sure. But after time, you can train, you know. Probably gonna quit. But during the time, you set goals and you dedicate yourself. And that's what I find to be a, a little bit exciting about this. But also, this map isn't trolly like Transit or Five or Town even with its pack punch slapped in the middle of fucking lava. But yeah, that's the reason why I think Farm is a good map instead of a bad one. So it comes in at number two. And coming in at number one, it's Kino Der Toten. Now, when I first started playing Zombies, all I had was Black Ops 1, without any DLCs. So, the first map I ever tried was 5. Obviously, I thought that was total bullshit, and so I tried out Kino Der Toten. And I was a bit overwhelmed how it was just a big circle. And my brother always warned me about turning on the power because of the Nova Crawlers. But now I know he was mistaken and you want to turn on the power ASAP. But I grew up on Kino, so that's why I really love it. I got my skills on Kino. I learned what guns are good on Kino. I learned what guns are total bullshit on Kino. And I, I just treat it like if it's a family member. No, I still don't have any DLCs today, so that's why I only know five maps, and about half of them are just horrible, but Kino is the best one that I'll probably ever know, just because of the fact that I grew up on this, I got my skills on it, and you know, it's just like a father to me. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video about my top five maps. Anyways, this is Hammer Time Adventures. Peace out.